Welcome everyone, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. We have Multivac MTV on the video today. So, last time we covered this was literally seven days ago. Let's have a quick update as to what's happened since then. The last video we did, by the way, was about um, the improvement of communication uh, to both investors and um, people that are interested in the project. Have they stuck to this? Well, I'm pleased to say they are indeed doing that. Um, it's quite clear to me that they do indeed have a better hold on the marketing as of now. Um, yeah, announcements coming in really regularly. Nothing like humongous or anything like that, but that's not always going to happen. You can't always have huge big news with any of these projects. Um, but what's clear is the interest in what they're doing, the adaptability with other swap mechanisms exchanges this is really cool uh, with guardian so now i'm being able to buy multivac directly with a fiat currency utilizing the usual methods that we have in traditional finance of so visa mastercard uh, scpa and swift so i don't know why swift's on there i think that's the messaging system behind it. i don't think you can actually buy stuff with swift directly as it were but anyway um really cool to see that and it's good to see mtv getting involved with things like that um and yeah just usual stuff like that. i think it's really good as well you know we, we i wouldn't i guess we kind of half slated it a couple months ago now probably uh, when they launched the roadmap and it was terrible it's just absolutely awful not like there wasn't really a roadmap to it it's a load of text i mean you can watch the videos back it was just it wasn't great um and you could clearly see that there was no control of communication or marketing at all. And then it came to light that actually the CEO was doing everything. So it was kind of understandable at that point in time. But as I said, nice to see um, regular tweets and messages and information. And it's not just Twitter. I just use Twitter as like an easy one to, to showcase on these videos. I mean, you can follow Telegram, you can follow the Discord. They're both equally as popular and um, certainly very well community driven in those areas uh, but it's easier for me to show you in this format to be honest so um, yeah very interesting indeed uh, some white paper elements on here as well so you can actually go on to this website you can download a purple one if you're interested in the development side of things and the programming side of things uh, Motivac sharding yellow paper interesting uh, I haven't read this one yet I have read some of the uh, white paper um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's really good information, to be honest. Um, very technical, um, but still understandable, in my opinion. If you want anything more tech-savvy, then definitely go into some of these aspects as well. 22 pages. Well, if you've got some spare hours, for sure, go for it. Um, and the other thing I wanted to pick out here is part of one of the tweets. Uh, Multivac pad. Now... This is really cool because um, this is the first, apparently first, fair and sustainable IDEO and incubation platform to be built on the Multivac chain for emerging projects. A lot of projects out there are really heavily focusing on incubation mechanisms being platforms for new projects, whether it's NFT-based, gaming-based, project-based, whatever it may be. Moivac is obviously being a big part of that now as well. So we might start seeing, as the ecosystem develops, um, and uh, the the opportunities develop more and more now with Moivac. We're finally starting to see small snippets of what we were being shown over the last year and a half, or indeed when I first heard about it via Cheeky Crypto back in not probably too far off around a year ago, to be honest. I didn't invest until around August time. Told you that story many times, not going to bore you to death with it. But of course, then we had the big tail down in the last few months, which is showing the chart in a moment anyway. But now we're in a position where it's almost like starting again. And we've almost had as well in December and January the big tail off because of all the changes in staff and the lack of staff being added. And it's now almost like, okay, the promises and the thought process around what Motivac is capable of doing is, I'm not saying that it's there now, I'm saying that we're starting to see snippets of what it was made for. Um, and these are coming to light. I mean, IOTX, for example, just launched their... Um, I think it's literally called IOTX Pad. Uh, very innovative, of course, naming-wise. But um, we're going to see a lot of this for sure. 
and I do see a lot of gaming platforms being activated on these because of the scalability aspects and the power of the likes of Multivac, the like of ITX. Um, I feel like we're so early in these projects. I mean, ITX is fantastic in its own right as well. Slightly different to what Multivac can offer as a whole diverse, if you like, diverse technology and project. Um, but like I said, very, very different in their own way and very popular in their own way. But I'm really interested to see how this develops. And of course, all those that people have so much staking of NTV, I do wonder, and I'm sure that NTV will be utilized uh, in the aspect of the multivac pad. Um, I haven't gone into massive amounts of detail on here, the usual stuff of whitelisting. In fact, what I'm going to do is I will do a video this week on IDOs and TGEs. So, um, you know, and INOs as well, NFT offerings. Um, so for those that are out there like, oh, I wish I could get involved in projects before they even come to exchanges. And um, this is really important. Token generation events, um, for example, before they go into the exchange. Uh, INOs, initial NFT offerings. Um, I will do a video on that. Not necessarily through Bolivac pad, but just how to do it. It's really fun um, and enjoyable in some aspects. And if, if you invest in what you know or invest you're excited in or do your research, um, it can be extremely fruitful for sure. I've, I've invested in a lot of really cool projects at the moment, like, um, you know, MetaFighter, really cool game. Go check it out. In fact, we might do a play to earn video as well this week. But yeah, MetaFighter, you've got Penguin Carts, you've got uh, the likes of, um, for example, uh, uh, what's the other one? Shark Race, I think it's called some really funky games so do go check those out but yeah i'm going to do a bit more research on this uh swap rate mtv pad wrapped mtv so it does look like you can switch your mtv into mtv pad tokens and usually what happens is you go into like a tiered structure of allocation and that determines how many tokens of the project that's being incubated or started you would get but from this it looks like Moivac pad this is the opportunity in the uh the opportunity to get involved in Moivac pad itself so again a really interesting opportunity and a public round open to everyone to be able to obtain this platform and this is very lucrative actually because there's an amount of projects like Synapse Network, Game Station, where I really wish I knew about them at the beginning to be at those top tiers of abilities to get top allocations. Um, so we might do a video on this one as well, actually, to be fair, now looking more into this. Very interesting indeed. And we'll see how that reflects on coin market cap as well, but I'm assuming they haven't launched that yet because we have indeed got TGE, not even see the dates here, closes 24th of April, so that was actually yesterday. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, oh, I have a waste of time then. But at least we can see what's coming. <laughs> so, guys, let's keep an eye on that because I'm really, really fascinated by this. Um, interesting they didn't put an end date on here, which is a shame. Um, finally, guys, I just wanted to point out, with the current price point of MTV, I've just done a few calculations. This is a good website. Ignore that it says XRP. That's just automatically fills things in. But you can adjust the prices, close prices, and you can identify, like, if you've got, like, $100, for example, how much MTV you would get from that. We'll see simple maths here. 33000 I just stuck it in there. Current price, and if we got back to the previous prices that we saw uh, later last year, um, you know, and if we do get to those rounds from where we are today, it's quite a good return. So it's worth thinking about things like that as well from target perspectives. Um, what's the current price? Where's the target price I want to get to? Actually, how much money do I want to try and make? Um, it may even just be about one cent, to be honest. For example, if you invest the hundred dollars, it's just over double capacity um, area. So, just for throw that out there, something that I use all the time, Rebate King FX, and there's loads of different assets you can choose from. The automatic plug in the current coins or prices, but I can't really bother. Sometimes I just change them manually, and uh, it's just a really interesting way to see what you could potentially get for your investment. Do go check that out. Um, let's jump into the chart, guys. NTV has been going down and down and down. Wow. Look at that. It doesn't seem to stop, does it? You know, no matter how 
they much they change their team and they try and progress things it just comes all the way down it just shows you how over purchased it was and um, how much momentum came in from all the different videos the different channels that are picking up on it but now back at a reflective price point here that's matching all the way back here to july last year and really volatile aspects around may and june as well so what can we take from this well what it would indicate to me is we're hitting this barrier here at the moment 0 0.003 if we see that go lower that's going to be pretty disappointing because then we're probably going to start testing even lower regions that and then by that time mgv is almost partially died i'm not saying it's going to disappear forever but again two positive points about this is getting involved in the project that still has a lot of promise um for those like me who got in a bit late uh, around august time last year i've seen obviously some good profit taking back up the, those top regions but it's all we come back down and i'm actually in a position now like i said when i started hearing about uh, mtv it was around about april time it was around about here somewhere um and I was always thinking, ah, oh, I missed it when I was in August. I was like, it's still going up, that's good. But now it's come back down to these really lucrative prices that are really exciting and interesting. So for me, I've been dollar cost averaging. I don't know where the bottom is, but I'm starting to see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm starting to see, not, I wouldn't call it a U. I don't think it's going to turn into a U, but you're starting to see this bend off now. Okay, so we, we've almost lost that that full steepness it's starting to tail itself off hopefully um and can we clarify that well we've got a few diagrams here so the histogram is showing the sell-off recently we've had a switch over on the macd literally yesterday it's very small um it's literally bouncing around but it's, it's showing positivity in my opinion we've had these this huge sell-off here between uh, february and end of march we've had a bit of a tail up bit of a tail down mirroring that um, so we're almost pretty much back on level terms in terms of sell-off and buy-in. So this is going to be a really interesting perspective because we've hit this barrier. Like I said, it's now matching back at these areas and it's looking just about at the moment that it's supporting. You see back here on the 12th of March, back here, and late March, and these touch points down here in May and June and July. This is where we are. And it's literally like we could arguably test lower regions, um, maybe back down at these areas here between 0 0.003 and 0 0.002. So what am I going to be doing with MTV right now? As I said, I've been buying on the way down in small portions, not going mad. But I'm really interested in under that 0 0.003 mark. I mean, today we went to 0 0.0032. So it's it's holding its ground. But I'm going to put some buy orders back down here, 0 0.0027. It may come in, it may not. I'm going to also draw that in for the reference to the future videos with a horizontal line. It's probably going to do it slightly higher, actually. I think that's being ambitious. I'm going to go for 0 0.0027, which is around, it's around about there. That's where I'm going to put my buy order in. Um, just in case it comes down if it starts bouncing around here this is where i'm going to be taking some again more buying points like i did earlier today um, i didn't quite hit the lower region of of that low low point but it was around the middle point so it's not too bad um so i'm going to be taking some more areas around this as if it bounces around um, but i will be holding a lucrative buy order back down here I may anticipate one even lower, but I'd like to see this one first. That's suggesting that it's going to come down. Like I said, what we're seeing here now is the histogram is slowly, look at it, it's just so small, but it's probably because it's just started today. A small bit of green there. Um, the RSIs are important to understand as well. We're at a very low region still, 30 on the 14 day and 35 on the 28 day. Wow, these are so low um not as low as they were back here on the 17th on the 14 day but it's still reflective on that 28 day so in my opinion it's it's slowly extremely slowly starting to pin itself back up reflecting that on the indicators though it's not looking great still on the six month and the three month look at that six months <laughs> goodness me i'm i hope not meant too many people were investing about six months ago 
I guess like I was, but I did, to be fair, take advantage. So I hope those people did. Um, but if they didn't, that's fine. Um, it's again, like I said, a good opportunity. On paper, this project is phenomenal. Um, and I, like I said, I'm starting to see some positivity in the communication. I'm starting to see positivity in the aspects of what Moivac was built for coming into fruition. It's very early still. But I feel like we've been given another opportunity to get Moivac in a good accumulation really quickly at a really low price. Um, and it's one, um, I don't have millions of it. I don't even have like 100,000 of it. Um, it's just something I'm building slowly but surely because there's still a bit of a risk element in the back of my mind based on what's been going on but I give the benefit of doubt I know how businesses work and how difficult it is um, for these kind of projects at the moment especially in a bad market it's really difficult to get people engaged with this if we were high flying people would be launching into MTV trust me uh, but we're in this situation right now everyone's a bit cautious they've had to pull money out to live basically this is a crazy world we live in um, and there's obviously crazy narratives around the world still. So it's understandable and it's difficult. But it's even more difficult with the likes of MTV situation that they've had over the last few months. So I'm sticking with them. Um, I, th I think it's you could you could call it a risk, really. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the risk. But I've been sensible with the purchasing to not be concerned. Only invest what you can afford to lose, as they always say do your own research and don't just go for other people's word for it just have a read through everything go and check our intro videos and you'll see why we're so excited about it why we're so disappointed like we were like with everyone else out there it's part and parcel of it we invest in these things we're actually partially emotionally attached to an extent um because we believe in it so much and um, we're excited about it. and there's a lot of people that just go out there and cry about price points all the time i'm not interested in that i'm here for the long run um just be savvy guys be savvy so we're gonna wrap that up there guys let us know what you're doing with mtv still excited are you excited a bit more like i am because of the extra communication and this that and other or are you out down and out a while back and you're just sitting by just waiting let us know we're gonna cover mtv probably next monday we've got loads of videos to crack through the next few days catching up awesomeness Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next MTV video. Goodbye.